Hello and welcome to tip number 14 of the Generator Genius Series. Today, we'll be talking about the importance of installing the proper means of stopping and disconnecting your generator. Most generators come with a bright red stop switch on the control panel so that if someone needs to shut it down in an emergency, it's simple to do. Activating this single stop switch does two things. One, disconnect the electrical circuit, and two, stop the prime mover, which is the engine that is generating the power. However, this single stop switch may not be enough to guarantee that you'll be able to shut down your generator in a proper and safe way. In the event of a fire, an obstruction, or other reason that the generator's control panel could not be accessed, it's essential that you have a secondary stop switch located outside of where the generator is located. In fact, safety codes established by the National Fire Protection Association, or NFPA, require that any stationary generator over 15 kilowatt capacity has a secondary remote stop switch installed. Our technicians are trained in what it takes to comply with these regulations and have installed secondary remote stop switches for dozens of customers across Northern California. If you're not sure about your compliance with this fire code or other safety and environmental regulations related to generator use, contact us to schedule a consultation. For more tips about how to safely operate and maintain your backup power system, visit us at gotpower.com. Thank you for joining me today, and until we meet again, remember, at CD and Power, we're powering your success.